Gavin McInnes. Gotcha. That's his name. Thank you. Thank you. Who you're thinking of? You are absolutely. You are absolutely right. That is who I was thinking of. A very unpleasant man indeed. <clears throat> no, I finally saw the author tank. Well, his flying machine at least. I was looking out one of the windows in the library and spotted in the distance with my binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Yeah. Wait. So the author is Cedric? Or did I misread that? Or maybe binoculars person mis misinterpreted what he saw. 24 hour wedding. Uh, oh yeah, I know about that. I know all about that. <clears throat> well, I guess not all about that, but you know, I, I know of it. <laughs> when the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like we're stuck with a ladder. Uh, what are you doing to that book? Eating- oh, <laughs> editing it! I've been in the author's shadow for my entire career. If I'm gonna die soon, I wanna die knowing I put out at least one original idea out there. Well, it's nice knowing y'all, I suppose. <sighs> Lab complex got total, didn't it? Yeah, all those hours I put into my work and now... He fell asleep. <laughs> Such an accurate portrayal of scientists. 26 laws, eh? Or 26 states, eh? Oh, goodness. The world's ending. What are we gonna do? Ah! What? You need something? No. Suit yourself. But, just so you know, due to recent events, the restriction on noise levels in the library has been temporarily lifted. So I won't be kicking people out like before. Um, what? You think I'm gonna be throwing out the vacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No. Good. Because I'm not! That scares me. <laughs> 20 states. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why there's a discrepancy. Is that more recent or... Different time? Oh, hello! Library is currently being used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. We're still waiting on another group of evacuees. One of the apartments on the other side of town got really messed up yesterday. Oh, uh, well, they might be a little bit late. It wasn't dated? Ah. Evening news! Everything is terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is the library. Good. Can we go up again? Please approach me from the front. Oh, come on. Let me through, boy. I'm gonna be news and firmly apologize for the inconvenience. Alright. Well, let's just skedaddle. <laughs> On the topic of this game that I'm currently playing, uh, usually if I'm playing games like this on my own, and there's a sequence at the end where you can talk to a bunch of NPCs, I, I almost always do that on my own, um, but when I'm streaming and using my voice for everything, because this game is entirely unvoice acted, I don't tend to do that, <laughs> just because I don't want my, my voice to just die, if that makes sense, because yesterday during the stream, near the end of this, my voice was given out, it was starting to hurt just to talk, which is why I left off wherever we started out. Um, so I do apologize for that. But I hope that makes some, some amount of sense. Talking about games, surely you jest. I know, it's rare. For better or for worse. A bag full of trash. Gross! To be honest though, when I'm if I'm watching someone play video games, I usually prefer commentary that is completely irrelevant <laughs> to the actual game going on. Depending. Depending. So I suppose that is generally reflected in my stream style. Alright, where's Rue? <gasps> there she is! <gasps> You're here! Nico! Cousin! Are you... Are you Rue? 
Yes, did you already meet the others? Yeah, but everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Okay. It's a big tree with leaves. I haven't seen one of these since I was back home. Well, the Game Boy commentary was yesterday. True. Very true. <clears throat> There's not much relevant commentary other than, I guess, possible conjecture as to what's going to happen next. But I feel like so far it's it's been kind of not formulaic, but a bit predictable. So usually it's like go somewhere. All right, we're about to leave, and then squares everywhere and then go to next area and then kind of same thing oh yeah I, I i saw that that's how they upheld the travel ban having an upside from the highest court yeah, things are uh things aren't looking good for pretty much of anybody we need to go back to the clock room um I don't want to do that just yet. I want to take, I want to take pictures with Rue. Is that not an option? I guess not. I guess we'll have to go this way then. So be it. I think this is the way to the clock room. I reckon. Is this a clock room? I don't think this is it. Ooh. Let's see if this elevator works. Swell. Where are the other two? Prototype? Cedric? You're supposed to be here already. They... <clears throat> Rotite's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with a memory disc, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I, I don't think he made it. Oh. No. There goes our only chance. I, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's... One last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Okay. I really wish Rue had more of a, a role in this game. Because I love... She, it's a cute fox. Come on. I wonder how different this game would have been if Nico had, like, a party or maybe like a, a, another partner other than me I feel like probably worse but you know whatever Bruce Hedick is strong overwhelmingly so you know this is the tallest building in the refuge it's my favorite place in the world I like to look at the far-off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of the windows can you Lift me onto the banister. I want to get a better look. Ooh, nice. It was depressing for me at first, too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well... Fake? Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. Feeling like I've never been able to go home again? It's... Or that's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? What would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. 
Oh. It does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the Dice Lady another time. Was it the Spirit of the World? Yes! But, thing is, the World Machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long, it was simply ingrained in his work. <sighs> and all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person to a dying world that isn't even real. Oof. Of course, simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the roll machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that anywhere now. The squares. <clears throat> That's the world corrupting its own code. My career says largely an involuntary process induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Oh, God. The creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. You can go meditate? Alright, buddy. Sounds good. Are you gonna come back? Or are you, are you busy for the rest of the day? Probably won't be back today. Alright, sounds good. I'll see you, I'll see you probably Thursday then, if not later tonight. Bye bye. Thanks for, uh, thanks for chatting me. Stress was an issue during test runs. During test runs, even! At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. I spent most of the remaining time testing it over and over again. Scaling down the store, reiterating the narrative. By the time we realized the actual root of the problem, our home world's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any other world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I've heard that word so many times. I know I only know it's complicated, it has to do with robots, but for once I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No. I mean, do you know what a robot is? Uh, <laughs> a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts di dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass produced, they can be assigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this is more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, makes sense. Hmm. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code inflicts things? Yep. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its own code, you can establish a special bond with it. The strong strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. Ow. A complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You had to fully embrace a robot as a genuine, living person. Even knowing they are not, you need to spend a lot of time with it. Treat it like a good friend. Devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Jack know better than anyone else. That's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involved... Some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine has always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you're in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted to do was write a happy ending. 
right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. Oh! We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Time to make our last stand. <gasps> you guys are okay? <laughs> yup. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. <clears throat> Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back, all thanks to the father's book. Yeah, I made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machine there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. <laughs> that he does. I'm just glad everyone's okay. <laughs> Same. We're ready, to, we're ready to go now, Nico. Alright, let's do it. Oh, this is... <clears throat> no wonder you want us all to be here for this. Uh, what are those things, anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain, but basically, my father has a hidden a decryption key in our code. The .txt file is a shell, but to get them, we had to be removed from the world and decompiled. Oh, um, I'm gonna do with something real fast. I'm imagining that. Uh, there we go. I'm imagining that they're gonna be breaking the fourth wall, so I wanna. Turn a uh, display capture on. Oh, one second. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Now we can do it. When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an, an encrypted part of this world, which will <laughs> confuse cat noises. Arr! I sound like we're a dog. Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Jack's machine. Ooh! When we enter these portals, we'll be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Jack has already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world in their computer. But this time, Jack would need to move around some things as well. Ugh. Specifically, by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Jack know where these portals lead to, at least? Should probably ask Jack on this. Right. Hold on. Yes, my son. I'm calling out to you. The journal is glowing again. Documents my game one shot. All right, sounds good. Okay. Here we go. My games. One shot. Ah. I see them. Okay. I guess we... Wait, what, 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 what did we do again? This one is red, meant for you. This one is green, here to your code. And blue! Alright. Let's see. think this is doing anything. No. <laughs> How about well about this? Let's try and open it with it. 
We got that. All right, how about this one now? There. Okay. And who could forget big portal? There we go. I don't think that did it. <laughs> Back into my game's one shot. Okay, wait, wait. Hello? Hello? Nothing. Perfect. <laughs> um, alright, so I don't think any of that worked. Oh, here we go. All right. PB. Put me in the big portal. There's one. EG. Put me in the big portal. All right. I assume these will all say put me in the big portal, but I don't want to answer. Here we go. Oh, they're gone. They're all gone. Okay. Well. Whoops. Where's uh there's one shot. Interesting. That was quite peculiar. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> hey, this is... The World Machine. Hmm. Pack of books. Glass teapot. Tea does sound really nice right now. Too bad there's no water in there. my father's study. Feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Jack should still remember what to do here. Oh boy. The place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. Yeah, you look really grateful. Big detailed drawing of machines. Lots of TV screens. Called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. <laughs> a shelf full of books. Let's say that again. Black clovers in a glass case. The big book. What does it say? <gasps> Watercolor sticks. Here's an amulet. A piece of amber on a string. Looks just like that necklace the robot lady showed me. I don't have it anymore. Bolton board with lots of papers on it. Photos, too. All right. Well, I guess we guess we go in, then. Oh, we know what this does. <laughs> Don't we? <laughs> right? <laughs> um... Let me 
just check. Alright. I guess we just X. There you go. Alright. Load it up again. Our favorite cat boy. Come, my son. There you go. Oh. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Now he's surrounded by TV screens. Goodness. Where are we? Huh. Not fast travel. I'll be the judge of that. Wow, cool. We can see all the uh, areas in the game. I suppose this is what that robot lady was talking about with video feeds. Okay. So many of these. I guess I can't really interact with any of these. At least that's what it seems like. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Cheese it. <clears throat> no, my boy. Wait a minute. How does he have the light bulb? Nico. Ah! <laughs> An appropriate response. Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. <coughs> Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption. The squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. Are blocking my way too, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I it's okay. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center at the engine inside my head, so to speak. So, this is the center of the world machine. You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype, they all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understand or understood a lot of the things they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know we had to be built. And I know I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside the protocol. The session was never sp uh, supposed to happen the way it did. One sign. <laughs> Come on now. Um. 